Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time, we broke into Mako Reactor Number 1, so let's keep going and find out exactly what we were sent here to do, or what Barrett wants us to do here. Let's see we get what we got here. Restore Materia. Well, there's not a whole lot we can do with that yet, so... We're gonna blow this place up? What for, man? What good's that gonna do? Well, okay, whoa! Ow, it's making my ears bleed. Someone speaking to you telepathically? Oh, I guess not. I'm just spacing out there. Okay, I'll light the fuse, Barrett. Confused as that. Cannon fuse. What the hell are you using for? A cannon. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, Barrett does kind of have a cannon for an arm there. It's kind of cool. That is, if you're left-handed, I guess. You don't mind losing your right arm for a cannon. Well, that's uh, some piece of technology there. Robot scorpion thing. You ever seen a scorpion in real life, viewers? I haven't. Of course, I'm in Chicago, so I mean, why would I ever see a scorpion, right? Okay, so being a robot, naturally, they're susceptible to lightning. I guess that's the way it is in the game. I would imagine everything would be susceptible to lightning, but robots especially. Okay, so Barrett's limit bar filled up, so we get to use his limit break. Big shot. Basically, uh, the way limit breaks work, um, what I said in the last episode, you take enough damage, and your limit bar will fill up and you can use a more powerful attack once. And the way it works um, is, or well the way you learn limit breaks is you have four levels of limit breaks and each level ha has, for most people, has two limit breaks per level. Uh, except for level four which has only one limit break. And the way you learn limit breaks is to learn the second limit break for each level, you have to use the first limit break of that level uh, several times. Usually it's between like six or eight times. Okay, now the guard scorpion's tail is up, so oh, you want us to attack while it's up? No, no, that's just a typo there. What cloud means is if its tail is up, or while its tail is up, if you attack it, it will counterattack. So you don't want to do that, so we're just going to wait around here. So anyway, to learn, say, to go to your second level of limit breaks, or your third, or whatever, uh, you have to kill a certain number of enemies. Uh, certain characters have to kill more enemies in order to learn more levels of limit breaks. So, that's the way it is. Alright, there we go. Got it. And uh, level four limit breaks can only be learned by obtaining certain items that allow you to learn it, and you have to have learned all your previous limit breaks. So... And I'll go over that a little bit in more detail when it's appropriate, so. All right, we win a gun from the robot. Sounds like a plan, all right. Gotta get out of here before the bomb blows up. 10 minutes sounds like a plan, but we got plenty of time here, so let's equip that on Barrett and run like hell. Dun, 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 dun. I like the music here, build suspense. Of course, you can climb that ladder a little faster since your life is at stake. That's okay. Just gotta get out of here the way we came. Uh, bomb blast can't be too big. We'll be safe here, right? No! No, no! Keep going! It's gonna be big! Big! Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Jesse, we gotta get out of here. How could your leg get stuck in that thing? big there. If I can get on this ladder. There you go, Cloud. I knew you could do it. Float like a cloud, sting like a bee. Something like that. Whatever that expression was. Well, it's awfully nice of the enemies to let us loot their wallets. Don't worry about fighting every enemy here. Well, what I mean is, 
don't worry about running out of time fighting every enemy here. I mean, fight every enemy. Do it. I mean, use the experience. Why not? And if you run into, like, three enemies, try to let Barrett get two kills. That'll help him learn his second-level limit breaks there. Which one do I talk to? Okay, there we go. Why do you need to decipher a code? I thought we had the codes already. Eh, whatever. Almost out of here. God, it's gonna be big! Big! Hurry! Hurry! Uh-oh. Whoa! That was a pretty big explosion. It's about, uh... 5% of the city there, I guess. What's making that noise, anyway? Yeah, that'll teach him not to build Mako reactors. Oh, wait, it didn't. And they all died. And that's it! Game over? No. No, they just, uh... Where, what is that, anyway? Is that some kind of, like emergency escape route that got collapsed or something or what is that building on the right there I, I don't get it hey I want to get paid here oh okay all right well uh, let me just check something real quick and I'll be right back okay huh for some reason when I Loaded my save state there, the sound cut out on me. I hope it comes back. Ah, there we go. Yeah, for some reason, with my emulator, the sound cuts out if you load a save state, or some of the sound channels do, but eh, it's not that big a deal there. Well, I suppose now is as good a time as any to announce the winner of the dating contest. It was indeed Tifa. But I have good news for you voters who, um, did not vote for Tifa. Because during my test run, I actually set it up so that I could date her. So, since I did that, and I already have that save state, I am going to show you two of the possible dating scenarios. Tifa, which I already have the save state for, and the second place winner, which was indeed Barrett himself. So, if you want to date either Barrett or Tifa in this case, you want to buy a flower from the flower girl here. So let's do that then. If you want to date Eris or Yuffie, then you don't want to buy a flower from her. So there you are. An interesting little uh, story. When I was in high school, speaking of flower girls, remember, I, I don't know if they still do this nowadays. You ever take a career assessment test? You know, they ask you a whole bunch of questions and like, you know, like, what are your likes and dislikes, or what do you like to do, and things like that. And I took a career assessment test on that, and answered a whole bunch, took a whole bunch of questions about that. And everyone, when you answered the questions, you had to enter it into a computer. And the computer would tell you what career paths would be best for you, given your results. Well, most people got five or six choices. I, on the other hand, got one. Floral designer. I was destined to be a floral designer. Needless to say, the teachers allowed me to choose a different career path. Man, can you imagine that? H.C. Bailey. Floral designing. Yeah, I just chose to fight all these soldiers just because, well, it's good for the experience. You need the kills for your limit breaks, so. But we're surrounded. What are you? Uh oh. No. Hi oh! Well, that's one way of getting out of there. Tailgate this! And we make our grand escape, but where are we gonna go now? Where was the rendezvous point? Well, I guess, you know, we're gonna have to. Find another way to uh, rendezvous with everyone else. What's making that noise in the train, anyway? 
Huh. Hell would I know. I'm the one paying him. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess I should be the one who knows, huh? Not a good idea to talk to your boss about money, you know? Just, whoa, whoa, what's making that noise? How could someone be, ne whoa! All right, we made it! We rendezvoused with everyone else, so we made it back. But that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Next time, we'll continue aboard the train and try to uh, find out what we're going to be doing next. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.